Hey y'all, it's Jen for the Love of Iris. Welcome to another video. Today's project is this one and it is a collaboration of stamp sets for a cause that I think is very important. Um, when I saw these two sets, I knew I had to put them together. This is the ribbon from the Ribbon of Courage stamp set and this is the sentiment from the Lemon Zest stamp set and I thought they looked great together. Squeeze it for all it's worth. Um, and the breast cancer ribbon, well I turned it into the breast cancer ribbon, but it can be for any cancer. Um, I have a shirt that says squeeze a boob, save a life, and it's one of my favorites. And so I thought I would lighten the mood a bit and show you how to make this card. So let's get started. You're going to need a bunch of paper, and I've already pre-cut it and given you the measurements and all that stuff. They'll also be on my blog, so don't worry about writing them down if you don't want to. Um... You'll need a standard size card base, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half makes a standard size card base. If you're in the UK or others that uses like A4, just adjust your measurements slightly and you'll be fine. Um, first piece is basic black, four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I'm using the um, Color Theory Designer Series Paper Stack and I'm using the Berry Burst um, papers out of that. So. Grab you some berry burst of your choice. I'm using the ombre one for the base, and that is um, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. You can use whatever you want, but this is just what I'm using. Then you're going to need another basic black, which is three and an eighth by four and an eighth, and then another piece of coordinating paper of your choice, and that's going to measure three by four, and that's going to layer on top. So see, we're building our layers. And then the final piece of basic black is three and an eighth by three and a half. And then your final piece of designer series paper, again, my color theory, which is three by three and three eighths. Now I cut this wrong, but I'm still going with it. And my sample, I, my pa paint palette swatch or whatever was uh, horizontal lines. When I cut my paper, I cut it to be vertical lines. I'm going with it. I don't care. Um... And then you'll need a scrap of Whisper White to do the main sentiment here. Um, let's see what it measures, just so you'll have an idea. It is about two and three quarter, two and five eighths, maybe, um, square. Two and a half, so give yourself about three, three and a half inches just to be safe because you're going to cut it down. Because I have the wood mount of the... Um, ribbon of courage and then I have the clear amount of the lemon zest so you can't unless you use a stamp and majig it'll be virtually impossible for you to get it straight so first thing I'm gonna do is layer all of my papers together and I'm just using fuse you can use whatever adhesive you want but I'm using fuse for speed because I feel like go go speed racer today okay so just layer your um, designer series paper or pattern paper of your choice onto your backing paper and I'm using black to kind of break it up because it is very monochromatic and although I love that I don't want them to get lost so if I were just to lay this on top of this it would be lost but by backing it in black it kind of pops it off and, and breaks it up a little bit so that's why I did that there is a method to my madness Although my madness sometimes <laughs> is virtually unexplainable. To most. Okay, so now I've got my layers. And actually, this is a really quick card. Um, you want to layer your longer of the two. And I purposely did this to three and an eighth so that you could cut your designer series paper in half at three so that if you are using the same sheet of designer series paper you won't have to use two separate pieces because it's a six by six so you can just cut it smack in half and then you can use the same because these are the same piece of paper just the other side so that's why I designed it at three and an eighth so you want to line this up as high as you can not as high you want to leave a little bit of room because we're going to stick some enamel hearts at the top um, but just kind of high up there to the top and then this one's going to go cattywampus, which I have a really hard time with because I have the OCD. Um, but 
when you cattywampus it, it will make the sentiment straight. So just kind of cattywampus it however you like. And then let's get out our piece of Whisper White. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stamp off because I'm using Berry Burst ink and that's the only ink. I'm using one set of paper, one color of ink, and glue. I mean, that's it. It's very, very simple. But I want it to be the same tone. So I'm not using, I'm not pulling in a different color of ink. So I'm just going to stamp off with my ribbon. And I'm stamping my ribbon first because my sentiment will nestle very easily in there once you stamp the ribbon. So there's my ribbon and then I can take my sentiment and stamp the where the TH is. I can snug that right up in there where that little empty spot is where the ribbon is. See? Squeeze it for all it's worth. <clears throat> I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. If anybody that's watching has ever been affected by cancer or known someone who's been affected by cancer you know what a brutal disease it is and both of my grandparents passed away from cancer my mother has fibroid cysts on her breasts and it's just something that our family is just really really affected by um, and so it's just something that I'm passionate about. Plus, if you can prevent it, not prevent it, but if, if you can take steps to try to find it early, I mean, why not? And who doesn't love a good booby squeeze, right? Okay. I'm using the corner rounder. I don't care that it's retired. Corner rounders are everywhere. You can find them. If you have the, um envelope punch board there's a corner rounder in it but I just rounded the corners because I I think it makes it look nicer and see now when you set this on there because this paper was cattywampus it makes your sentiment straight I don't want to add another layer and I didn't think that this stuck out quite enough so I'm going to bring in my basic black marker and I'm going to just go around the edges of this just to kind of give it the illusion of having a layer without adding more bulk to it. And that's something that you can do too. You just take your marker and go around it and it will bring it up off the page a little bit without adding more bulk or adding, what I don't have space for is another eighth of an inch of paper wide and high. So if I just add that little bit of black, see, I think that makes it come off the page just a little bit more this one versus this one. See what I mean? But you can do whatever you want. Okay, so a little bit of fuse. Oh, I had a fuse booger. Dang it! I hate the fuse boogers. Okay. And that's going to go there. And then we're going to use Frenchie's trick with the Fobo. This is the new silver. Um, metallic edge ribbon. Love it. It's so, so soft. I don't know what it's made of. Unicorn hair, I think. Not totally sure, but it feels like unicorn hair. Okay, so this is how you do it. If you've never watched Frenchie's video, this is how you do it. You pitch your finger around the ribbon and you tie a knot. So you go over once and then you come back around and you go over twice you leave your finger on you leave it on your finger now you got a knot right doesn't have to be pretty don't worry about it just as long as it's on there and you got a knot see my knot okay and then now you're gonna slide it off and you have a loop loop de -de, here we go loop de loo here we go loop de lie okay so now you got a loop with a knot and some ugly looking tails and then mine's still attached to my spool so i want my fobo to be right about there so I'm going to cut off just about enough ribbon so that I can wrap it around this piece of paper like that. Okay. And then I'm going to grab some scotch tape. It doesn't have to be scotch. It can be dollar store tape. It doesn't matter. 
I just say scotch tape like I say I want a Coke, but that means I might want a lemonade. We say Coke for everything to drink, like a Kleenex. My nose is running. Can I have a Kleenex? It doesn't have to be a Kleenex. It could be a Puffs. Okay, so all I've done is take my ribbon and wrap it around the back and tape it down. See? So I got this here, ugly mess. Don't worry about that. No one's going to see it. And then this front here with this loop-de-loop -loop of mess. But here's the trick and the secret. Cut this at an angle and then pull it like this. <gasps> oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? How cool is that? Now you got a faux bow. And you can trim off the ends if they're too long. Because I have fat fingers, so my bow loops are going to be bigger. But look how cool that is. And now it looks like you tied like a square knot or a faux bow for a really long time. Look how professional. See, it's all about the tricks of the tree. And then we'll take this and flip it over and put some fuse on. And stick it down to our card base. Oops, I probably should have lined this up a little bit better. Oh, good, I didn't stick it down yet. Shh, don't tell. Okay, yay. And then I'm using the um, enamel shapes in the silver metallic because I want to tie in some of that ribbon. And I'm just going to throw three little hearts up here because hearts mean love. And I use the silver for the ribbon. And you always want three because you want odd numbers. And there you go. So everybody squeeze their boobs. Make sure that you try to catch it if you can. There's a song about that too, but I won't sing it. And I'll see you next time. Hope you're having a great day.